suits that these guys have put on are just absolutely insane. Massive rubber gloves, thick canvas. Nếu mà nọc này này, nọc này mà cắm là chúng chúng hết này này. Oh wow. Ai luôn? Chết. Chết. Thấy bốn năm người chết rồi. Oh my god. Holy crap. Rất là béo luôn rồi nha. So these look like just like alien wasps. They are pretty disgusting. Maybe if I'd grown up eating this stuff, I could see why you do this. Let's see. Many of the hill tribes here in Vietnam are honey hunters, but I recently heard of a particular Katu tribe that hunt not just for the honey, but specifically for the larvae. And this has opened up possibilities for them. Now they hunt not just for bees, but also for giant Asian hornets. The particular tribe is incredibly remote in Taeyang province, right on the Laotian border. And here, young Katu men risk their lives targeting huge swarms of hornets with makeshift canvas suits. They do this professionally to feed their families and to sell to other villagers. Here it's a prized source of protein, and it's something that's just so alien. I knew it was a story that I really wanted to tell and something that I had to experience firsthand. This place is a nightmare to get to, but once you do, it is some of the most wild and beautiful jungle in all of Vietnam. Today we are hunting down and eating the larvae of murder hornets. This is kind of skin crawling on a number of levels. Firstly, I cannot think of anything any more terrifying than being stuck in this humid ass Vietnamese jungle in the central highlands here with a thick canvas suit on, trying to dig up the family of murder hornets that are in turn trying to kill you for invading their nest. That whole thing sounds absolutely fucking terrifying. And the second part here that is kind of terrifying is just the idea of trying to eat these lava. It's just not really my cup of tea, but unfortunately there's probably no way out when it comes to eating one of these things. One thing that I do want to try and do, and that I always try and do in these situations, is remain open-minded. There's a reason that they are a delicacy, and that these Kutu tribesmen on the Lao border here are quite literally risking their lives in order to get this food. There's something about it that is significant to these guys, and I want to get to the bottom of it. In a lucky turn of events for me, Quinn only has two suits, one for him and another one that is also his size and I quite literally cannot fit inside it, trust me, I tried. Unluckily, however, for my cameraman, he is Vietnamese and he fits quite perfectly. So, it looks like I'm gonna be getting out of some of the slightly more dangerous parts of this, just, you know, putting my cameraman in danger instead. But, when it comes to eating, there's no escaping. That's one part of this deal that I am not going to be getting out of. To be honest, I'm at that incredibly apprehensive point right now of just hoping that we get some of these things despite how just insane that kind of looks. Let's see how we go. Còn ở trên đây thì chống ong không 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 đái vào mắt. Còn ở đây là cái lưới lưới lớp lưới này họ chống cho mình thở mình nhìn thấy rõ hơn. Ở đây thoáng mát ở trong này có quạt nó mình quay quạt luôn. Rất là mát nha. So I've finally managed to ditch Alex and Hun. This is probably the safest close distance I can get to two of the wasps nests that they're trying to harvest. So I've been told to stay pretty far back here as far as I can. I really did kind of want to be involved with this. I even looked into purchasing or getting custom made one of these suits so that it was my height. It is humid as fuck. Just trekking through the jungle right now. I'm pretty fucking sweaty. Hey. Let's go. Wet. Yeah, 
you really can't grab onto anything other than you know a big giant pickaxe but Alex isn't having fun trying to operate a camera with those things anyway hopefully Alex is safe I really don't want to have to find another cameraman they're really hard to find here in Vietnam It's going to take them about an hour or two to get the two nests that they're after. Hey! 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 Không được, không được cái, không được cái. Không được cái đâu. Không được cái, không được cái. is back and he has come back victorious. I'm about as apprehensive as you could possibly get right now. These things are moving and squirming around. They are way fatter and larger than I thought that they would be. Kind of um, gut churning as you could get with the food. And what I didn't expect is the noise. They, you can hear them munching away. It's gonna take uh, quite a bit to remain open-minded when it comes to this kind of thing. Let's see how we get cooking. Đây là kết quả anh. Ờ, bất à. Bất. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. That is fucking crazy. This had way more technique than I thought. I thought you just hunt these things in your mouth. Lấy nhiều xíu phải đi xuống. À, sống được mà. So this, oh my god, man. It's like some kind of sci-fi movie where you see the shell of the creature. But it looks like they've been 3D printed or something. Like, they're all completely clear inside other than these haunting black eyes that is just oh oh my god and they're moving because he's just ripped up the shit out of that thing oh man there better be some good explanation for this i'm telling you it's like no it's got definitely got the bug type gush it has like a almost like a sweet taste to the flesh after all this work that's what we've come out here for i i'm kind of hoping that it tastes at least a little bit better cooked Let's see how we go. Quinn, thank you, man. This looks, I mean, kind of scary, if I'm a little bit honest. How do we eat these things? Thường, cái này là nướng chín rồi, nên là ăn được. Cooked is always a little bit less intimidating. I'm hoping that this one, it also tastes a little bit better as well. All right, so we'll start off. Let's eat one of these. Anh, anh cái nào? Đấy, cái nào cũng được hết, chín hết rồi. Okay, I mean, he said they're all good to eat. Ăn lúc nào cũng hết. So we can just grab any of them. I'm going to start with one of these. Can I do không? Được, được, ăn được hết. Okay, so this one's good, and anh hết luôn hả? Ăn hết luôn. Oh man. Ngon <laughs> He says it's ngon. He said it's really good. And I've got it, man. Wow. It doesn't taste bad. There's like a smoky flavor to it. There's a bit of a, that gush factor, which I think is what creeps you out. And then of course, there's just the mental disconnect. Just trying to get past the fact that you're eating these wasp lava. We even saw one trying to eat its way out of 
the casing before we put it on the fire and it's kind of kind of harrowing. Now let's try one of the yeah. one of the white ones. I'm gonna try one of these ones with the have the legs still. You can I do huh? Yep, yep. Right. So I mean it's fine to eat these ones. This just fully formed alien looking creature. Angel Luna. Angel Luna. And we eat Luna. everything. He's telling me it's gonna be good. Let's find out. Oh my god. Whoa. Well, and the flavor is totally different. If you really try, really try your hardest to just focus on the taste. It's not good, but there's something there. There's a unique, special flavor. Maybe if I'd grown up eating this stuff, I could see why you do this. Oh my God, this one is the one that I'm dreading the most. So this is a pretty much fully formed wasp. He's telling me, oh look, it even has its sting already. So you, there is a bit of prep that's involved with this one. Oh my god. Holy crap. Well, I'm glad he stopped me just then, because there's no way I'm eating the pincer. Oh my god. Oh, wow. And yeah, that's the worst. Like, um, encased insects, fully grown insects, you get both the crunch and the gush as Sonny has taught me previously. It's really chewy as well. You've got to kind of really get through it. The legs, you can still feel the legs and the wings, and it's one hell of a meal. It's definitely an acquired taste. After trying the hornets, I start asking Huynh how he got into this. How often do you do this? Mm. Wow. Why are you doing this? Is this your profession? Is this what you do for work? Huh. Does, is it everyone who's buying this or is this mainly a katu dish or does everyone in Vietnam like this, this kind of food? Người mình với cả người ở ngoài nữa, dưới Đà Nẵng, người ở dưới Đà Nẵng đồ rồi Quảng Nam rồi cái gì họ thích ăn thì họ cứ liên hệ lại với mình nên là mình lâu lâu mình đi bắt được. How old were you when you first went out to catch some of these wasp larva? Lúc đó khoảng 13 14 tuổi là bắt rồi. Chứ có đồ bảo hộ luôn nên phải đắt bắt thì phải phải đốt bằng đốt bằng lửa kìa. Lúc này thì có đồ bảo hộ nên là không cần đốt thì là cứ thế là vào đào thôi. Còn nhỏ 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 thấp nên là được ăn rồi như mấy em nhỏ nhà là được ăn rồi. Thì ăn tới bây giờ cũng khoảng 2 3 chục năm rồi. Wow. Ông này đốt thì đốt vào những chỗ khác cơ bắp thì không sao nhưng mà đốt vào chúng cái huyệt này này là 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 suy tim, tụt canxi, tụt cả huyết áp luôn. Oh wow. Ai luôn. Chết. Chết. Có có nhiều người chết. Wow. That's crazy. So, I mean this stuff can literally kill you. Have you ever seen anyone die from this? Thấy bốn năm người chết rồi. Trường hợp mà rách quần áo kia ăn rách như thế này là chui vào là hắn thích, hắn đốt. Đấy. Wow. Đốt là chết. Chuyên gia mới được. Wow. Nguy hiểm. So what is it about this food that it's, it's so hard to get, it's so dangerous, but you keep going out to get it? What is the reason that you keep doing it? Thì ở nhà ở trên vùng sâu vùng xa không có công ăn việc làm nên là mình phải kiếm một cái nghề nào đó để bắt là một phần là vì đam mê nữa. Loại này là nó theo mùa tháng 7 tháng 8 mình mới có. What do you do in the seasons when you can't catch this? Làm ruộng làm nương làm giấy cũng như bà con ở đây thôi. Họ làm sao mình cũng làm vậy à? Is this something that all Katu people eat? Ở đây thì có những người ăn mà chúng có người mà bị dị ứng thì không ăn được. Dị ứng thì dị ứng với cái nọc độc của hắn. Gan với thận mà yếu là hắn không lọc được cái nọc độc kia là hắn thả thải là hắn nổi hết lên mụn lên lên khắp lên khắp người luôn. Man, that's crazy. So even some Katu people are allergic to this kind of stuff and they're pretty much the only ones that don't need it. Okay, and Em Hun, thank you very much for taking me out here, man. This is like a beautiful place in Vietnam. If not the most delicious food, it's a really interesting food and it's a nice insight into this corner of Vietnam. Thank you very much for bringing me out here. Thì thì cũng chúc anh anh thì được phát triển rồi đến thăm nước về đất nước Việt Nam rồi có một chuyến đi vui vẻ. Thank you. Thanks for watching guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of this kind of stuff. That was a pretty tough one. Pretty crazy. Some of the most dangerous and kind of gross stuff that I've ever seen eaten here in Vietnam. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm kind of tempted to come back and try and catch some more of these things with my own suit. Who knows though? Seems a bit extreme. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.